We'll look at John chapter 3 and verse 22. Reading at verse 22, John chapter 3. After these things, Jesus came and his disciples into the land of Judea, and there he tarried with them and baptized. And John also was baptizing in Enon, near to Salem, because there was much water there. And they came and were baptized. But John was not yet cast into prison. Then there arose a question uh, between some of John's disciples and the Jews about purifying. And they came unto John and said unto him, Rabbi, he that was with thee beyond Jordan, meaning the Lord Jesus Christ, to whom thou bearest witness, behold, the same baptizeth, and all men come to him. A man can receive nothing except to be given him from heaven. Ye yourselves bear me witness that I said I am not the Christ, but that I am sent before him. He that hath the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom which standeth and heareth him rejoiceth greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This my joy therefore is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. So the ministry of John the Baptist was coming to an end. The ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ was just starting here on earth. Of course, his ministry really is an un uh, unending ministry. The point is this, John the Baptist was came to point people to the Lord Jesus Christ. The same as believers are here to point people to the Lord Jesus Christ, and especially those who do preaching. We are concerned about your soul. We want your soul to be saved. But the only way your soul to be saved is if you come in repentance toward God, that is, a change of mind, simply agree with God that you are a sinner and then you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ you will receive everlasting life through faith alone in our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ the one who died on the cross can be your Saviour this other my men and that's what God wants He wants to save your precious soul that leaves your body the moment you die where will you be one second after you die? We need to think about these things. These things are eternal. You see, the things that are seen are temporal, but the things that are not seen are eternal. This is where our bodies are not eternal. You see, when we die, our spirit and soul leave our body. And those things no one can see. No one can see our spirit and our soul. So, but we need to understand that they're going to be somewhere at the moment of death. Now we're either going to be in heaven, that is our spirit and soul, be in heaven the moment we die if we put our faith in Christ as our saviour. Or our spirit and soul will be down in hell, that place of suffering and burning and torment. Now God does not want you to go down there, and that's why I'm coming here preaching the gospel of Christ unto you, that you would receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Saviour, so that He will be your Saviour and not your Judge. Now you must understand, it's either Saviour or Judge. Salvation or damnation, heaven or hell. You know, these things, uh, this is an eternal matter. This is not something to laugh about, my friend. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish, to them that are perishing, foolishness. But unto us which are saved is the power of God. It's the power of God under salvation to everyone that believeth. 
So if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you receive forgiveness for your sins, a home in heaven, and peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. That's what the Word of God says. Romans 5 verse 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. There's absolutely no other way to be in heaven. If you want to be in heaven, you'll have to come the, God, the way God, God has described and prescribed. It's like a doctor. You know, we go to a doctor and they prescribe some medicine or whatever. It could be sitting on the, the shelf or sitting on the table and you, you believe, yes, that, that, uh, that ointment or that, those tablets will fix me. They'll make me well. But unless you actually take them, they will not make you well. It's the same with God's salvation. You've got to reach out the hand of faith to the Lord Jesus Christ. You've got to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to receive everlasting life. And that everlasting life can only come through the finished work of Jesus Christ upon the cross. When he was crucified upon the cross, desires to be your saviour this hour. And the only way he can be your saviour is if you put your faith in him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yes, yeah, so it says here, after these things came Jesus uh, and his disciples into the land of Judea, and there tarried, he tarried with them and baptized. And John also was baptizing in near uh, in Eonon, near to Salem, because there was much water there. And they came and were baptized. But John was not yet cast into prison. Then there arose a question between some of John's disciples and the Jews about purifying. And they came unto John and said unto him, Rabbi, he that was with thee beyond Jordan, as I said, meaning the Lord Jesus Christ, behold, the same baptizeth, and all men come to him. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except to be given him from heaven. Ye yourselves bear me witness that I said, I am not the Christ, but that I am sent before him. He that hath the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom, which standeth and heareth him, rejoiceth greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This my joy, therefore, is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. He that cometh from above is above all. This is the Lord Jesus Christ. He's above all. He that is of the earth is earthly, or earthly, and speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from heaven is above all, meaning himself. He's above all. And what he has seen and heard, that he testifieth, and no man receiveth his testimony. He that hath received his testimony has set to his seal that God is true. For he whom God hath sent speaketh the words of God, for God giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. Father loveth the Son, and hath given all things into his hand. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. Very simple. If we believed on the Son, that is the Lord Jesus Christ, we have everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son, is the other side of the coin. And he that believeth not the Son, shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Now what's he talking about, shall not see life? He's talking about spiritual, an eternal life, that which you and I do not possess when we're born in this world. We are spiritually dead. We're children of the devil when we're born in this world, spiritually speaking. This is why we need the new birth. We need to be born again into God's family through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Yes? 
who that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. I wonder, have you believed on the Son, that is the Son of God? The verse I read uh, last time I was preaching were John 3, 16, 17 and 18. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And here we see the last verse of John chapter 3, verse 36. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. So this is what we can obtain through faith alone in the Lord Jesus Christ. Obviously, if we don't put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, we won't receive forgiveness for our sins. In other words, we won't be in heaven the moment we die. But if we believe on the Son, we have everlasting life. If we put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, acknowledge the fact that I'm a sinner before God, admit that to God, and then you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, in other words, believe on the Son, you will have everlasting life. And this is the Son of God we're talking about here. We're talking about someone who is perfect, who never sinned. In fact, he can't sin because he is God. God manifest in the flesh. God in a body. God came down, was clothed with humanity, a perfect body. But we see Jesus, who was made a little low, the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. He died on the cross for every man, woman, boy and girl who has been born and will be born. He died for us all. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. The man who said that could say, of whom I am chief. And so, if the chief of sinners could be saved, you and I could be saved as well, no matter how bad we've been. But we've got to come to Christ for that salvation. The next part of the verse, the last part of the verse says, And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God abideth on him. In other words, the wrath, the strong anger of God will be abiding upon us. If we die without the Lord Jesus Christ as our Saviour, we are in big trouble with God Almighty. There's no mercy then. There's no grace then. There's no salvation then. It's too late. It's game over. This is why we need to be saved now. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Do not wait another second, my friend. You need to understand, you're in great danger without the Lord Jesus Christ as your Saviour. He will be your judge instead. Now I'm here to tell you that your soul can be saved. And God wants to save your soul, this other, my friend. The only way you can save your soul is if you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And that could be yours. It's all right. You can get right with God. You can receive forgiveness for your sins by putting your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Repentance toward God, that is a change of mind, simply agree with God that you are a sinner and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, and God promises you everlasting life.
For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do it now before it's forever and eternally too late. Remember that God commendeth his love toward us. That means he displayed or exhibited his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin. So again, what do you need to do? Come in repentance to the Lord God. That's a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Remember, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, I appreciate that. If you're interested in this, look me up youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you, have a great night.